welcome back to Aaron's Mobile Mechanic. So I'm out again and about helping people out. <laughs> I just made that up too, so like that. All right, so check it out. Today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be replacing struts on a Chevy Cobalt. Um, let me see what year is that again, I forgot. It is a 2000 Chevy Cobalt. Okay, 2005 Chevy Cobalt. All right, guys. So, like always, guys. Um, he got new tires, but the car, the the, the, the car still shakes, and it's shaking on every bump, but it's making like a rattling noise because he has blown struts. And this is how you can tell if he has blown struts, guys. You see, it looks like it's been leaking right there. You could even pick pick this grommet grommet piece up. It's like a it's like a, a protector, so no dust will get in. And you can even see, guys, that it's been it's been leaking. It's been wet. It's not even leaking anymore. It's just it's just they're blown. They just been leaking so long that. You can tell it just been leaking and this is how it looks on both sides so i'm going to be showing y'all how to replace the struts on this chevy cobalt guys so these are the tools that you're going to need if you don't have electrical impacts guys you know you can go with uh just a regular ratchet and then some sockets and maybe a little swivel and then yeah guys uh, that should help out. So, here guys, we're going to be using the 18. We're going to be using the 18 a lot, guys. <clears throat> so, 18 here, 18 here. These are two 18 millimeter bolts. I already kind of started on the job. You know what I mean? I'm always. So, these are 18 millimeters here. The sway bar links, 18 millimeter. It goes there. Another 18. And then, I mean, obviously, you got to take the wheel off. Those are 19s for this vehicle. And then uh, the same as on the other side. So it's two 18s, three 18s. Don't forget to, you don't have to take off the uh, inner tie rod. You don't, the outer tie rod, you don't have to replace. You don't, you don't have to take it off to do the struts. People would like to do it, but I just... I'm gonna try to do it without it, you know. If I if I feel like I need to take it off, I'll take it off. But other than that, I can probably do it without it. And then we come to the top. There's three bolts on top. These are the bolts on the strut mount, the strut tower, whatever. Uh, these three bolts here is what holds the strut up. These are what hold these strut, the, the, the strut up, guys. So these are 13 millimeters. Excuse my, uh... Old-ass impact. Alright, just loosen those up. Let me get the other side. Loose. I already took two off over there. I took two off over there. Uh, guys, don't panic. By any chance, if anything happens, if you drop these screws, don't worry about it. When you get the new strut, the whole assembly, the quick strut, or whatever you, people call it, there's like all kinds of names for them. Um, the new strut mount will be coming. This new, the new strut with uh, the whole quick strut. Then put a little quick strut. Should be coming with new screws, guys. So if you lose these screws, don't worry. Don't panic. They come with new screws. So, yeah. Let me uh, go ahead and get a hammer right quick. Another thing. These are uh, screws. These screws here. These studs here that run from the spindle to the strut. These are, uh, these go in with pressure, guys. So if, when you tighten this bolt down right here. When you're putting the screw on, these screw, these screws here, they go in with pressure. So, in order to take these screws off, guys, 
um, just put the screw back on, just loosen the screw up, put it back on because you're gonna need to put it back on and you need to put it on like halfway, like you see where it's, like the, the screw ends? So push the screw there and do the same thing to both sides because you're gonna have to hit the screw out guys. So you don't damage the screw threads. I recommend you just push the screw out like this to where it sits flush with the screw. The, the, the bolt, the nut, I mean, you screw it out to where you're gonna take it off, but you just leave it halfway. Show me closer, you can show me. This side. You see how it's flush with the bolt? All right, so you're gonna be hitting it so you can push this screw out. So you can push it out. All right, so watch out. Let me show you how to do it. So just tap it. You see how it came out, guys? You see how the, this screw got threads? So when you tighten this bolt up, guys, this screw is going in with pressure. And the reason why it got these threads here because it doesn't have a, a it doesn't have a head on this side to where you can hold it with a wrench and then tighten it up. No. So you tighten this up, this goes in and it holds itself with the spindle. It holds itself so you can tighten it up. You know what I mean? All right. Moving on to the next one. And just do the same thing. Some are a little harder, but yeah, that's another trick, guys, because some of y'all are going to be like, freak, it was too hard, you know what I mean? So that's an uh, easy way to do it without damaging the thread. You see how I'm putting the, the bolt on back with no problem? That's what that's what it's all about, man. You don't want to have, bad enough, you got to change the struts, and you're just like, damn, I got to waste money on this. And then, bad, and, and then if this happens, if you damage the threads, then you're gonna be like, shh, damn. You know what I mean? More problems. So, that, make that be a lesson learned. You can just tap it out after you do that, after you're out already, you can just tap it out, you know? It's not gonna damage anything. Just tap them out, and then the same with the other side, and then you should be good. So now, these are not heavy. You can pick these up by hand. So what I do is I use my knee, I put my knee under there, and I help, I, help, I help push up. If you're strong, you can push this up and pull the screw up, pull the screw up, and the strut should move and just set it down slowly. If you can find something to put under here, that'll be, that'll be good for you, so you don't pop the axle out. I do recommend you put something under there, but just, just let it come down slowly, guys. Now, eventually, the lower control arm is gonna hold it. Just don't let the, don't let the axle pop out. Just, just let it come down slowly. All right, and then you move back up here. And what you're gonna wanna do, what you're gonna wanna do now is hit the 13, but at the same time, grab the strut here. So I do recommend you use your elbow and your knee to help you hold the strut up, cause it's kinda good. All right. So you don't kill yourself, man. You know you gotta work smart, not hard, and just wiggle it out, guys. There it is. As you can see, it's been leaking. And this goes for the other side too. So when you do buy these guys, I do recommend you go ahead and get the whole assembly, so you don't have to take it somewhere so they can put the strut on, or you don't go and hurt yourself when you trying to put a spring on. You know what I mean? I mean, so you don't have to take it somewhere to get the spring put on, and then you don't hurt yourself trying to put the spring on, you know, because if you do, if you, this is what I recommend, guys. If you're going to buy a strut, I recommend you get the whole quick strut, the strut assembly, guys. This is how the quick strut assembly, when you buy them from AutoZone, it's going to come like this. It's going to come with a new shot. It's going to come with new springs, new bushings, and it's going to come with a new strut mount. These go bad, too, guys, so... There's no point in just chain out the strut, guys, and you got a bad strut mount. And then maybe even the spring is just worn out, you know what I mean? So just go ahead and just get the whole assembly so you can just be headache pain-free or whatever, guys. And then, you know, pay somebody to put it on. And if you want to put it on yourself, that's why I make these videos, guys, so you can do it yourself. You know how I wrote. You know, you don't have to spend no money. Just, just probably got to spend money on some tools and then maybe a good jack so you don't kill yourself, you know? Another thing, safety first, so use jack stands. I got a strong jack, so the car's not that heavy. I'm not under the car, 
So, you know, think smart, not hard. I mean, work smart, not hard. Sorry, guys, I just woke up. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, guys. I'm not fully ready for this day. I gotta take a beating and I'll be ready here. So, moving on to the next side, guys. So, practically, what you see over here, guys, is what I'm gonna do on the other side. So, stay tuned. So, when you see, I'll put the struts on and then we're gonna go for a test drive. And then, uh, it would have been good order one for a test drive and made a video to see, you know. Um, there was a lot of movement in the front, so just make sure you check, uh, make sure you uh, check what's wrong with the vehicle before you change the parts out. Don't just change parts out and then that's not an official part. All right? All right, guys, so as you can see, we got the struts here. The old one, here's the new one. Another thing you have to do is match it all up, make sure everything looks the same. So you don't just start bolting things up and then something not matching. And that's it, guys. So the way you see it, the way I tell you about is the way you put it back on. I'm gonna go ahead and get this job finished. Cause I gotta go to the next one, y'all. See y'all on the next one. All right, guys. My thing is, uh, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, dis dislike, uh, all that good stuff, guys. Uh, we got more videos coming soon. Just give me time, and yeah, we'll see you there. Alright, so next, you want to put the spindle on. Here are the bolts, they go on this way. Here's the other one. You might want to, you might want to rock the spindle. Just push it in so you can get this bolt in. And then two bolts. These are 18 millimeters. Start them off by hand. And then you have the sway bar link on this side. You want to go off and it's another 18. It's another 18 millimeter bolt here. There you go. All you gotta do is tighten it down. And don't forget these three bolts up here that hold the the, the, the strut up. They're uh, 13 millimeters as well. We got some more. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and get the top. I got this one at Harbor Freight. I had a snap on one, but those are like a thousand dollars. This one's probably like 200 bucks, maybe like 180 bucks. Um, they do help out, guys. They're not strong, but they do help out with like putting things back together. Sometimes it'll 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 struggle a little bit to take the lug nuts off, the axle nuts, and some bolts depending on how tight you tighten it. But it does have a good like, when you're tightening up things. It does have a good a good good power for tightening up uh, the bolts so mm -hmm. this one down here guys you might need a you might need a, like uh the uh ratchet guys because because of the holes and then the caliper in the way but you can just get it on in there Make sure you tighten these up, guys. People, everybody in the world watching these videos, make sure you tighten up your bolts nice and tight. And as well, go over these. Just 
Even if you got electric impact, you might just still want to just snug them up like this. And just use it by hand. Don't go too crazy because they're just, they're little balls. They're, they're, they're little guys. You don't want to just go over tighten them and you snap something. Just snug it up nice and pretty. Whoa. And then um, these are leftover bolts, guys. These, you know, I don't use them anymore because like I said, it's, it comes with new ones. You know what I mean? These here, you can always save them, put them in your bucket, bucket of screws, save them because you never know when you're going to need a screw. All right, so now we're going to put the wheel back on for this, for this side. Everything's already nice and pretty. So let me run this down again. Sway bar length, 18 millimeter. Two bolts that hold from the spindle to the strut, 18 millimeters. And then up here, you got three 13 millimeters, guys. So the tools you will need, probably a ratchet, it doesn't matter, 3 inch drive, half inch drive, uh, 18 millimeter, short or long, doesn't matter. These are short bolts, so these are short sockets, short bolts, short uh, short screws. Sometimes they're right, they're a little longer, so you might need a longer one. And then uh, a hammer, uh, a 13 millimeter, uh, 3 inch drive for the small, for the small, whatever you want to use, 3 inch drive or half inch drive. And then you can never go wrong with a swivel, guys. Alright guys, so see y'all on the next one.